don't know what the hell is going on, man. I think we were just all kind of too young, didn't really know how to handle like each other's company for like a month. I just remember like I wanted to like kick Carol's ass. <laughs> Over, whatever. I think I was getting on his nerves, and he was probably getting on mine. And it almost—I almost kicked his ass because I, I don't think he would have kicked my ass for sure. But the only reason why I, I didn't fight him when I thought about it was because I was scared of Greg Carroll. He was just already all tatted down, and I was like, "Dude, if I fucking give this dude a nice shiner, he's gonna come after me, man." And um, we're at this party, right? I just see Tim come out of the bathroom, and like he's holding shit in his hand, like real piece of shit and I guess he like pooped in his hand I saw I knew what it was because it smelled crazy but he went up to his friend Edwin and he was all like dude smell this and then <laughs> it's just all like like dude what the fuck is that and dude and we were just dying of laughter <laughs> that was an amazing level to take a joke having an amp in the middle of the house and blasting it with distortion and playing along to creeping death perfect though and I was all like, dude, I'm impressing my parents right now, you know, like, look at how good I am. Like, but I, I could tell, like, you know, my mom, they were just all like, what the hell is that shit, dude? Like, do they think it was like some devil stuff? For sure. You know, they're probably tripping how, like, I, I, I was so devoted to it. You know, my dad would be like, turn it down, man, shit's loud. I don't think they ever heard distortion before that in their whole life. Glad to see you. I had a funny dream and you were wearing funny shoes. He just like toss it back in the toilet.